Hey, what's up? This is DT here with yet another video for that big brain of yours. Now, time to soak this one in because I'm going to go over ePark. Now, this video was actually requested by a viewer. Thank you for that, and for good reason. Well, it is a great service, but it has its drawbacks. So I will be covering that so that you can book restaurants online and spend that special night with the missus or the mister or if you want to bring your kids along you can do that so they can embarrass you at a five star restaurant or hotel because they definitely have those i've done that but first don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small red square at the bottom right corner of this video or follow us on instagram or twitter at daddy t japan now before we dive in i know i have many viewers I've checked the analytics and I am going to make a highly educated guess to say that my viewers each have their own proficiency when it comes to reading Japanese. I'm just going to assume that you know nothing at all about Japanese other than konnichiwa and that you like ramen, which is entirely okay. That way I can cover everyone. Cool? Great. So I am going to use Microsoft Edge on my computer. Now it's important that you do this because it will translate the page into English or whatever language that you prefer. The iPhone or the Android app itself is available, but it is entirely in Japanese. To use this service, you have to create an account and when registering an account via either means, you will come up against a wall. Well, I will show you that and I will show you how to get around it. So first, go to epark.jp. Cool. So what is epark? Essentially, it's a service that will allow you to create a booking for things like restaurants, dental clinics, clinics of all kinds actually, spas, pet grooming, and the list goes on and on. So I present to you a scenario. You like what you are hearing, you want an account, you want to register so though that you will have an extra tool in your arsenal and you may or may not plan on expanding your Japanese skills in the near future for whatever reason, because life. Not everyone has the time or energy for it. I get it. So watch me make an account. When you do this, I highly suggest you make it on a workstation or Mac, whatever you prefer, so that you can translate the pages. Then download the app with your login and just turn on the notifications for your app and Go on about your day. So if you run into a situation like this where it's all kanji, don't get scared. Take a breath and let's work through it. Remember, I told you my channel is all about giving you that edge out here. And I didn't mean Microsoft Edge. <laughs> you get it? Okay, so of course, let's go through the natural progression. You'll likely click here or even here. Open up Google Translate to input your area. But nothing's coming up. Then you're sounding like Hank off a of King of the Hill. God dang it, Bobby! So if you just hit this area button at the top left of the page next to the E Park logo, bam, you will basically have what you're looking for. Every area in Japan loaded out in English. Don't read English? That's okay. Change your language preferences here in Edge, like so. Let's try to book around, okay? Mm, a back rub, acupuncture. I never did that before. Every time I think of acupuncture, I think of Pinhead from Hellraiser. You ever watch that movie? 
That's what I think of. But I might give it a try one day just cause. So when you are attempting to book something, especially a clinical appointment, the circle there means that these days or times, slots are available and open. The X means that they're either closed and or don't have an appointment available. Simple enough, right? Well, I bring this up because I just want you to know that this is used all over Japan for any kind of clinic. Now, they usually show the week layout and a circle and X for days open and closed starting from Monday to Sunday. In addition to that, most clinics are closed on either a Wednesday or Thursday and Sundays and usually have half days on Saturdays. That's for major clinics like dermatologists, neurologists, cardiologists, places like that. That's been my observation anyway. Now let's make an account, shall we? So put in your email address. You obviously need to provide a real one to be able to receive the confirmation. Create a password, easy, right? This is one of those gotcha parts that turn people away really quick, and for good reason. It's asking for your name in Hiragana. <laughs> if you're a foreigner, which you, you probably are because you're listening to me, your name would be in Katakana and these fields don't even accept those characters, but don't sweat it. You can go to a Hiragana keyboard online and just create either a nickname for yourself or if you actually want to put in your whole name, that's fine too. And if you ever want to learn how to pronounce the Japanese alphabet, I have two videos on that, covering hiragana and katakana, as well as some kanji videos. And that can help you determine which characters you need for your name. You can type your name in on your English keyboard, it will likely not fully translate. So again, me, I would just come up with a nickname for yourself, just to get through this spot, or figure out each character in your name, which could be a little bit more time consuming, but not impossible. So me, I'm going to put Daddy T, right? Now this will be the hiragana equivalent to my name. So I put that in, copy paste. It accepts, success. Now I can put in the rest of my home info. And when you add your zip code, don't put the hyphen in, just the numbers. Then click OK. Check your email, open the email from ePart, click that long first link that you get. Now if you try to create an account on the phone, which is a little bit harder, it'll ask you to put in a pin that you receive via email. And honestly, I found that for my viewers, this is the easiest way. And that's what I'm all about, just bridging the gap for the everyday person. Now log in with your credentials. You can browse around and make appointments now. Congrats. And you can even book Shinkansen tickets with hotel packages on here. Now with that, you'll be redirected to the JR site, but it's still pretty neat and you can earn points.
Now, what is my personal view on the service after only hearing about it like three months ago? I think it's a great service for everyone, honestly. It is not the most gaijin friendly app, but if you have lived in another country like me for a long time, you will find ways of getting things done. Little hacks here and there, and that's what I've shown you. I think this is the easiest way to go about creating an account for my viewers because when I make a video, I try to take everyone into consideration. Use the web browser to make an account, then download the app. In addition, I think it's great for foreigners that don't speak or read Japanese at all so they can at least get an appointment with a doctor without having to hold a full conversation over the phone which can be daunting for most. And it's been my experience that once you get there you can use translator on your phone or whatever you need to to get your point across. Being able to get across that first hurdle is great and I applaud ePark for at least having that functionality. So it's great for booking medical appointments of all kinds getting you access to some of the best doctors out there and in your area. I know someone that was working out here and he had a very bad skin condition on his arm and hand and the doctors back home just kept kicking the can, not helping him, just prescribing him hydrocortisone, gold bond, stuff like that. He came here, I go, hey, before we do anything, let's get that arm looked at. It's like, oh no, it's gonna be expensive. I'm like, dude, let's go handle that. We go in. I'm able to help translate, bam, he paid $60 and a problem went away in three days. So it's amazing what doctors can do for you. If you have an issue, definitely get it looked at. Don't wait because the money will always be there as long as you're alive to make it. And in Japan, you don't necessarily have to have insurance to see a doctor. Most of the clinics you can pay with cash. And if you have insurance back home, you can submit a claim if they support that. And also, you don't have to save your payment information on the site. I've researched and I don't see where you can actually do that. So it's just for booking. You can pay when you get to wherever you're going. The restaurant, the clinic, or whatever. So there you have it, that is ePark guys. Check it out, make an account, take your time when doing it. Like, subscribe. I'll have another one posted next week. I hope this helped, <laughs> I know this helped. And hit me up, all right, take care. DTL. <laughs> you get it, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> <laughs>